Hi. So, this isn't my favorite angle to do yoga. I have my mat behind me, but it's the angle that I can, that I have today to record this. So, I've been working on programming a yoga routine that, that uh, aligns the chakras, heals trauma, and awakens the kundalini. So today I'm just going to go over a about a, a 10 minute less than 10 minute warm up routine that I do uh, and have you watch it and eventually I will broadcast my or post my full length routine that I've come up with. It's about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes long. I'll post that on my YouTube. But here's the warm up for now. So I start at the front of the mat, arms up with a little arch of the heart, chakra opening it, and down, and up again. I'm going to do it three times. Arms up, a little arch in the upper back to open up that heart, and then bring the palms together down into the front, the heart chakra, and then you're going to go all the way down. Bend your knees if you need to to give yourself a little bit of relief. Again, I don't know if you're getting my whole body in the view or not. And then you're gonna halfway lift three times. And then you're going to take your left foot back into a runner's lunge and you're going to rock three times. And then all the way into plank, making sure that that lower abdominal and that root chakra, that perineum area is nice and tight. You're going to rock three times, making sure that you're breathing during all this. Um, take your left foot forward now into the runner's lunge and you're going to rock three times into this. Now both feet together at the top of the mat. And then you're going to roll onto your back. Or not onto your back, sorry, onto your sit bones. But this is where we're going to actually roll out our spine, making sure that we, we connect um, our spine to the mat. And we're gonna roll out 11 times on this, all right? Coming back up like this into this position. So, one. Let's see how I'm getting. You want to get a full spine activated onto the mat. And even getting your being gentle, but your neck and so the, your head. After you've done 11 times, you're going to go. onto your back with your knees bent up your hands facing your palms facing down onto the ground and you're going to thrust a uh, bridge thrust 11 times as well so one two I want to make sure that you're really really activating those glutes and um, that perineum area the lower abdominal going into the upper abdominal, into your diaphragm, making sure it's nice and tight with each little thrust that you do. Nine, 10, 11. So instead of going back to the rolling, we're actually gonna bring your legs up into child's, or I don't know if this, this is a child's pose, child's pose is still. The other direction but like this happy baby there it is happy baby and you're gonna rock back stretch out those inner thighs a little bit your glutes breathe then we're gonna go over onto our side i feel like i can come a little bit closer for this And then I'm out of shop, right? So we're gonna do cat cow. This is gonna be 11 times, all right? So really arching, arching. You're gonna do this, you're gonna pull in, 
Starting at the base of your spine, pull it in, rock it up, tuck, so that's one. And when you're doing this, really pull in with that, pull in with your lower abdominal and really activate that area of your body. to your belly. So, onto the belly. And from here, I want you to put your, your, your hands, stack them on top of each other and put them down like you're gonna put your forehead on it like a pillow. And then you're gonna rock your hips back and forth. I just want you to hang out here for a little bit, take three deep breaths and just rock the hips. We're gonna go into Cobra next. So there's three ways you can do this. You can put your arms out wide like this with Cobra. I want your legs wide too on the mat, making sure your right foot's all the way to the edge of the mat and your left foot as well is all the way to the edge of the mat, where you can really feel your pelvis push into the, push into the, uh, into the ground. So you can have your arms out wide and push up or your arms in close like Cobra. Back up, buddy. Um, in and then up. So you're gonna do this 11 times. One, two, I want you to really feel that pelvis push into the ground. It's really activating that chakra, awakening the kundalini. Breathe. Nine, 10, 11. And then I usually push back into Child's pose here and wiggle a little bit and breathe. And then I do a round of um, a round of alternating my nostrils of uh, breathing. So and this is how I end it is um, and you can either your hands can be like this and you can this way, this way. I don't care what your technique is. You could even just pinch it off if you want, this way, this way. Some people care about that, I don't give a shit. Just make sure that one nostril is, is uh, plugged and the other nostril you're breathing through and exhaling through. So what we're gonna do is alternating, alternating, right? So I want you to breathe in through your left, breathe out through your right. I want you to do three rounds of that. Now reverse it. Breathe in through your right and out through your left. Last one. One deep breath using both of your nostrils and out. Then we're gonna do those nice short breaths that, uh, that we do. Now put the tongue to the tip of your mouth. Make sure that your jaw is nice and relaxed. Your hands are open for uh, rising your, raising your vibrations, hands down for grounding. And then we're just gonna do around maybe about 26 short breaths. Ready? And a nice deep breath. That was it. We made it. 10 minutes. Nice good warm up for you to align those chakras, remove some of that trauma, and awaken the Kundalini. Thanks.